Hello and assalamu alaikum. My name is Sadiq Akbar and as you know that I'm ESL and IS trainer at USECS Islamabad. Uh, today I'm actually surrounded by the little scholars who are the student of Step Up who study English, technology and professionalism. Before commencing the particular topic we have chosen for our panel discussion, I would like my little scholars, the participants, to discuss themselves to the audience. So, yes please. Hello and assalamu alaikum. My name is Mohammed Jibri. Hey, and assalamu alaikum. My name is Mohammed Dries. Hey, everyone. I'm Yusuf. Hello, and assalamu alaikum. I am Mohammed Afrin. So let's begin with the topic that is the removal of exam from education system. Is it a useful or futile idea? So what do you think, uh, Mr. Jibril? Do you think it has some pros, some advantages or not? I think removal of exam from education system is good because from this, the student won't like they won't have stress. They won't have to study for the exam. Like if they would go to their wall, they would go and sit down and watch something else. So there won't be any criteria that in their mind that you would go and study for the exam. So from this, they would be free and they would go and uh, not study for exam. So I think uh, this would help them because not studying exam line from this, they won't be stressful. Their mind won't be burdened and they won't be. That much. Thing. Well, you're also participating in extracurricular activities yeah. as well as well as sports. Yeah. So, do you agree that, like you know, they they will be free? They won't have that particular stress. My opinion, it is not good. But like, if they, if we can the pros of from this, the students who all have the uh, like they won't have to study for the exam. They would be free playing sports and taking extracurricular classes in their Sure, place. perfect. Mr. Idris, uh, you know, it will have another advantage, which, like, you know, I think that would be like they, they won't jump into that rate race, which is the rate race of marks. Do you agree that it is the advantage of removal exam from the examination system, from the education system? Yes, it is. So, the, uh, their parent will not think like our my child I bring this much uh, marks obtain this much marks in that particular exam so, uh, they will not think about that when there will be not assessment so they will not think about that and they will be free from uh, from that from that okay so there will be no comparison at all there is at the same time like you know there will be no super impose uh, kind of uh, you know uh, 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 strictness you can say that you have to achieve this much marks or obtain this much mark in that particular exam perfect all right okay so Mohammed, do you also agree uh, that you know students won't have stress if uh, you know exam is removed from the exam uh, education system yeah, I, I personally agree because the students who are studying, they are just studying for exam. And uh, when they are studying, preparing for exam, so they are having stress that tomorrow it's our exam or after week it's our exam. So that makes the student patronize and they are not able to um, like focus on their daily, uh, like the extracurricular activities, sports as well. They do not uh, focus on that. So most of the time they have to give it to um, studies which can overburden their mind as well. And it can also lead them towards confusion as well. So uh, I th personally think that there sh uh, should not be um, exempt. Rather there should be practical learning or there should be something projects you want to the student. Okay, right. Uh, Muhammad, uh, do you think that students will conceptually study uh, through the help of projects or, you know, removing exam, like they will be not uh, in that particular rate race uh, for marks, especially, like some students, they are quite conscious. Yeah, goal. there is a problem that every student is working and every student is understanding themselves to score a high score or to get a great A. And uh, I will add something else because as, uh, if we are not going the exam, so because of that, if we see in Finland, so the education system is on top because there aren't exams there. And secondly, the students are also motivated. The students are also, we, we can say, uh, they have uh, they have extra curriculums by which they are, their mind is being active. Like it depends on the student which what they want to learn. If they are interested in mechanism, so they learn mechanism. In business, so they have the ideas. They have, they give them that kind of things that help them in the future. If you see in our education system, so we are we are um, what we can say educated like uh, 
there will be math, there will be involved physics, chemistry, which is a helpful in our, uh, what we can say... Uh, later in, our, in future, yes, in, in practical, future. It isn't in practical life or in, in, in professional life. Yeah, it isn't uh, helpful in professional life, but we are wasting our time in that. Except that if there were no exams, so you, it was, it will depend on the person, on the students, that they will know what they want to become and by which they will, like if, let me give you an example, if this kid, if he start working on himself from now, uh, so would he be a better, or if that person, he start him uh, working on his, from himself on to, uh, when he is 25 years, so we will have more benefits, I think because of him, because he will have an extra 10 to 15 years, and that person he has wasted his 15 years, so if exams are being removed, so the compulsory like people will be, become innovative and become creative. And secondly, in my opinion, that many students, many children aren't a creative or innovative because of these, these exams. Because like the exam is that can, it has fixed one mind, it has fixed one education by which they are saying that whoever passes in this, so it means he's intelligent, but it is a not. Uh, there is another aspect to the examination system, especially MCQs, uh, multiple choice questions and open-ended questions. So which one do you think is more useful for a student in order to pour out their mind, their ideas onto the paper and prove that they have learned something from that particular subject? I think uh, that the open question will be important because they think from their mind, from their mind, like they it depends on their mind what they are thinking and they, they can tell a story about it they can tell about the a new circumstances that are coming on but in mcqs the all four come mcqs by which you will think okay, this is right or this is right many students like they one two three four they do like this and they when they touch them yes it they just guess it yes. but in open mind open question you can you will think about it what what will be the answer? How we can solve that answer? So I by, think by it, resolving the question like yeah. how and why and where and like W H questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfectly all right. So uh, you know, Jibril. Again, I would like to come to you. If there is no assessment, definitely, how will then we assess students and their intelligence level? And also, like you know, how we'll be taking data from them whether they have learned something or not. In my opinion, I think if there won't be any assessments, like like if they that if they remove the examination system, so there won't be any assessments. So assessments are for like to ex assess the students that in how much water they are in, how much are they studying, how and they, it is also for to check their intelligence. Like if a student always goes to school and if he's only uh, looking to the teacher and the board and he only writes, but after a week when he gives uh, assessment. So the teacher knows that how much have he learned, uh, how is he uh, doing the work and from this he or uh, she uh, or the teachers also send feedback to their home uh, for to their parents. So from this, in my opinion, I think like uh, if there won't be any assessment, so it won't help them because assessment assess students that how much are they, what is their intelligence, what have they learned and what are they doing. Perfectly all right. And uh, Idris, do you believe that when the examination system is completely removed from education system so students will then uh, you know they will not take their studies seriously so do you also think that it could be a disadvantage of removing exam from education system yes i believe like he will only listen uh, to uh, we will take the class and then co or come to home he will only uh, waste his time he will not take it serious you will say, I don't have assessment, I don't have... I don't have homework at all, yes, okay. I, I don't have homework, nothing to do. So he will only listen and then go there. Forget. Yes, he will forget. After, uh, then he will, uh, like, uh, he, will only, he will only waste his time. So you think that removing exam is a futile idea? Okay, right. So, Muhammad, uh, if we remove uh, the examination system from our education system, for instance, so the marks lover will suffer. How we will assess slow learners and quick learners? At the same time, like more intelligent student and less intelligent student then? Well, uh, I think that like, the, the students who suck, uh, like they, are, uh, they won't get grades and uh, like they get those grades and if there are no exams, so they will suffer 
So I think it's um, like for them it would be bad, but I think it's uh, good. You know, like uh, the reason why it's good is because the students who will be not that much good, these both will go in the same path, on the same way. And this will encourage the students who are not uh, good, uh, they are not um, participating. They will also be encouraged and they will go together and will need uh, uh, together. So I think that uh, they might suffer for a short period of time, but the, well, uh, like uh, after time, they will uh, get addicted to it and they will go Together. They will get used to it. They will get used to it and they will uh, help each other out. So there won't be any um, like... So taking your personal opinion, should uh, exam be removed from the education system or not? Is it a good or useful idea? Well, in my opinion, it's um, good to remove exams so that the students, they could worry about their future, not uh, the time, like not about their school, not about their grades. Exams. Yes. They won't think about it. So when you remove exams, the student, they will get, uh, like, they won't be uh, that much, like, burden, and they were just ready for their life. So that in future, they could be something or they could do something uh, productive, which will help them as well as which could help the um, people, the nation as well. So this is what I think my personal opinion is, that is exams should be removed to remove the burden from the students and give them free environment so that they could think in a and out of the box. Perfectly, all right. Uh, yes, uh, Yusuf, what is your take on this? As uh, my opinion, I think it's short. Because as a student, I know many people, like we can't figure out who is intelligent and who is not. Because our God or our Lord has made everyone intelligent, but it is the difference between their mentality. Someone will learn from the practical, someone will learn from theoretical, someone needs more time, someone will learn less time. So I don't think that exam matter. And secondly, as um, this brother has talked about, that uh, if uh, there aren't exams or the A grades will feel awkward and etc. So in my opinion, as I have saw uh, the people who got A grade who are intelligent, they are now working under the people who, who are backbenchers and etc. So, in my opinion, like school is good for those who want to do jobs, and it isn't good for those who want who want to do business. So, yeah, it is this. Oh, great, perfectly all right. Yes, yeah, so she, Jibril, what's your opinion about removing exam from the education system? In my opinion, like from uh, from primary years, like there should be exam removed till grade three or till four because after this, like there are students who should be assessed that. What, is, what are they doing like they cannot be assessed by practical because now there is not that much practical so that's why I think there should be uh, exams after the uh, grade 4 because from this like the lower classes don't know about the most of the thing how to write what to say so in this it's hard for them but after grade 4 or grade 5 so from this day the other they know how to do it so they should be assessed they should have examination to check whether what are the, how what they have already what. learned. Yes, uh, Muhammad Idris, what is your take on this? My take on this is it should be till all on so the student can learn, he he can observe many things. So I think till all of us there should be no no exam or there should be any exam. Perfectly all right. Thank you so much. This was all about uh, Today's topic, which was on a panel discussed by these uh, students, uh, they have uh, extended actually their opinion about removal exam from the examination system. So that's it for today and inshallah in the next episode we'll be coming with another interesting topic. Stay tuned and keep watching.